Soul Searchers. I'm Indigo Kelly with Soul Searching with IndigoKelly.com. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the July 2020 Pick a Card Predictions. We have three piles for the month of July. We have pile number one with the white candle, pile number two with the blue candle, and pile number three with the red candle. We will go ahead and move directly into pile number one with the white candle. All right, pile number one. For the month of July, pile number one, I feel like you are possibly a younger person, possibly a younger spirited person. Maybe you're young at heart. You could be a Capricorn or maybe another earth sign, Taurus or Virgo. Possibly, you don't have to be those signs, but that's a possibility. I feel like, like I said, you're a very high-spirited person, engaging and optimistic. You probably make friends fairly easily. You're a sociable and charming person. You're probably, you know, pretty smart, educated, or you have really good common sense. You're a loyal, honest, trustworthy person. I see that you have possibly been manifesting some positive things into your life. I see maybe, you know, you have a promise of, um, of abundance in the month of July. Maybe you've just recently, you know, discovered how to really manifest abundance in your life. And I see that coming to fruition, okay? Some, you know, financial opportunities or some, some kind of skill development, maybe going back to school, maybe taking some classes to improve on something that you're already doing, all right? So that is who I am seeing for group number one with the white candle, all right? The theme of the month that I see for group number one is future planning, all right? I see that in the month of July, group number one, you are going to really be making some leaps and bounds in, in growth and, and per, you know personal growth, all right? You are going to start really commanding the respect and attention of others. You really, in the month of July, you know, you have the world in your hands and you're contemplating these opportunities, but you've not quite left the comfort of your, um, you've not quite left your comfort zone yet to start pursuing these opportunities, but you're in this planning phase during the month of July, okay? You're gonna be embarking on some new adventures, okay? That could mean actually like traveling, like traveling the world, or that could mean like in your career, or maybe you're just working on some new projects creatively. Research everything that you do very carefully before you make any decisions, okay? I feel like you are in a really intense planning phase and that's really going to be the theme for the month of july for you you have some decisions to make and you really have the a possibility a really good chance for success if you can overcome any challenges that come up okay commit all your energy to this planning phase okay you're going to be making a lot of progress for the month that's really going to be a theme for group one for the month of july now, your key goal for group number one for the month of July is going to be doing some soul searching, okay? You're going to be needing to really look inward and start thinking introspectively, all right? You might want to spend some time alone. Withdraw into yourself to look for answers to your questions, okay? This could have a lot to do with the, your future planning. If you are planning um, whatever it is that you're planning for your success, for your travel, for your, you know, financial success, um, the answers are within, okay, is what I'm saying. So withdrawal to find these answers to your questions. You're going to need some peace and quiet. You're going to need some alone time. You're going to really want to um, use your own wisdom and your own intuition to find the answers, you know, to really plan your path ahead. You're going to need to spend some time alone, meditate on whatever it is that you are planning, okay? 
make really careful decisions. And you know, it's okay to listen to others too. If you take advice from others, that's okay to do too. You, some of you could possibly be um, meeting up with someone that's really going to, you know, inspire you. All right. Um, so if you are, are talking to someone else that is going to be giving you advice, it's okay when you're in that time of introspection introspection it's okay during that time of introspection to talk to others and take advice from others because I see for some of you you might be having someone come that's really going to inspire you in this future planning okay again I'm seeing that some of you may be taking some kind of a vacation or travel where you may be taking some time to yourself to really think about um, future planning okay follow your heart not the crowd you know that doesn't mean don't take advice from others but don't do what everybody else is doing okay really do what's best for you and think about that long and hard okay also don't get ahead of yourself in the month of July don't try to plan too far ahead in the grand scheme of things you only want to plan a few steps ahead and you might not know what's coming long term in the future because sometimes you really just have to trust the divine and trust spirit that they know what's going to happen okay that they have a plan for what's going to happen and so you can plan each little step but remember use your wisdom it's okay if you don't know the full plan that's okay because the divine does have a plan really listen really call on your spirit guides really call on the, the divine really call on your higher self and try to come into this heightened state of awareness so that you can follow the divine's plan but don't get too sidetracked by trying to figure out what the whole plan is one step at a time small steps okay mm -hmm. group number one for the month of july obstacles to overcome the obstacles for you, group number one, for some of you in group number one, mm -hmm. is that life is ever-changing. Life is a series of cycles, all right? Both good and bad. And I really see that people in group number one, for the month of July, you're going to be having some good luck, some good karma, all right? Now, as far as that being an obstacle, your luck is turning around and this new phase of your life is beginning, all right? Um, you're, like I said before, you're gonna have this phase of, like I said before, you're gonna have this period of personal growth and extreme change. And sometimes change isn't always easy. It is an obstacle to overcome, okay? Huge changes. But just remember that, like I said before, that the divine has a plan. You have to understand that you are not always in control. You have to be able to release control. You know, the divine and destiny have a plan. There is a destiny and you have to be willing to let go and go with the flow. Okay, in the month of July, like I said, I'm seeing big changes, not bad changes, but any kind of change can be an obstacle to overcome. I do see, though, a promise of a better future for group number one in the month of July. It's the month of July. I really feel like it's going to be a turning point for a lot of you in the month in group number one. Major accomplishments for the month of July, group number one. In the month of July, group number one, I see that your major accomplishments are going to be your ability to have energy and enthusiasm you are going to be in the month of july you're going to be ready for action okay you've got this future planning that you're going to be doing you're going to be in, you're going to be going inside of yourself and planning and really meditating and making these really good decisions about what you're going to do in the future okay um you are going to get really inspired by whatever this is all right for some of you it's a new job for some of you it's travel um, whatever it is it's this huge life change this good luck this good karma that you guys have coming up in the month of july okay um you're going to be full of energy you're going to get this rush 
about starting a new project and again it's going to be constant changing all right you're going to have this very passionate temperament you're going to be enthusiastic um you're going to be uh, very emotional and very passionate about whatever this new planning phase whatever it is that you're planning for the month of july um you're going to be inspired to action all right you're going to have this new adventure and that is going to be a major accomplishment for you because i feel like possibly in the past you know you weren't feeling that inspired maybe you were feeling a little you know on the depressed side for some of you and so i'm feeling like your energy is going to change you're going to be finding a new passion a new enthusiasm and you're really going to be ready for these huge changes it might seem at times like it's a little bit impulsive but you're really going to be inspired into action you're going to be ready for these new adventures coming up into your life okay in the month of july group number one what to avoid okay in the month of july for group number one avoid overcommitments. do not try to juggle too many responsibilities at one time that is something that you know i would warn against situations may get out of your control if you try to do too many things at once all right also avoid any um, arguments with other people if you have arguments with other people you want to react to any kind of conflict with calmness okay so avoid try to avoid arguments with others if you do have arguments be calm be the voice of reason don't come back angry anger met with anger never makes a good situation so if you have someone coming at you that is angry for some of you you might have someone coming at you angry in the month of July come back with calmness come back with peace anger and anger is not going to make a good situation all right um in the month of july um for some of you i think that you might be spending some time near the water in the month of july okay i really want you to be careful near the water in the month of july make sure that you are taking precautions make sure you're wearing the you know your your life jacket your life jackets make sure you know you know there are some holidays in the month of july where people go and celebrate on the water and a, a lot of times you know drinking alcohol is involved so make sure that you're not one of those people that is out on the water drinking alcohol and also make sure that you're avoiding people that are out on the water drinking alcohol you want to be really careful um, anywhere near the water for the month of july group number one once again, if you're having arguments for group number one, for some of you, what to avoid is responding with anger, but also take the higher path, respond with patience, respond with calmness, and really try to stay true to what aligns with your life's purpose, regardless of what this other person is angry about. Ask yourself, does this response align with my life's purpose when I respond to this person, what I say, okay? What to embrace in the month of July for group number one. What to embrace. All right, so in the month of July, group number one, I really feel like you should embrace your feminine side, your softer side. Embrace your creativity, okay? And like I said before, you know, you have this introspection that you're going to want to um, have as one of your goals in the month of July. And so this goes along with that, okay? Personal growth and self-development are some of the things that I really want, that I really feel like group number one, some of you should be focusing on in the month of July. Also for the month of July, some of you really need to embrace getting outdoors. Some of you are spending too much time inside. Get outside and enjoy nature. Now, of course, be cautious and don't be in large groups of people, but make sure that you are getting outside and grounding yourself and really connecting with Mother Earth and with Mother Nature and with life, all right? Get your feet in the grass get your feet in the dirt all right really connect with mother earth 
Some of you may be embracing your sexuality in the month of July. So I'm also seeing that um, in, you know, this attempt to embrace this sexual pleasure in the month of July, I'm seeing fertility. So if you are wanting to have a baby, um, I'm saying that this is, you know, a, a possibility for some of you in the month of July. If you are not, though, however, make sure that you watch out for that in the month of July. Um, I think that you're going to, in the month of July, really be focusing on your health and your, you know, your physique, how you look, okay? Being sexy, all right? Some of you are going to be focusing on that in the month of July. Also, for some of you in group number one, you might actually just be making a connection with your actual mother, okay? Um, I feel like maybe there are some people in group number one, maybe you haven't spoken to your mother in a while. Um, maybe there was some kind of disagreement there, okay? And I'm really feeling like the month of July would be a great time for you to rebuild that loving relationship between you and your, your actual mother, all right? Where to find support for group number one? I am seeing that you could be finding support, um, possibly a Scorpio or another water sign, maybe a Cancer or a Pisces. I am feeling it as a uh, feminine energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be female, but just a very compassionate, caring, um, emotionally stable, um, intuitive energy. This person is very uh, honest and devoted. And it could be for some of you in group number one, it could be a spouse, okay? This person is either going to be like the perfect husband or wife and the, a very loving mother or father for some of you. This person is very nurturing. They're going to be very kind to you in the month of July. They're going to be very sympathetic to your feelings. And for in the month of July, this person's just really going to give you a lot of support and they're going to have a really positive effect on your life, okay? So look out for this, this very compassionate, um, motherly, fatherly, um, really more of a feminine, compassionate energy. Doesn't necessarily have to be a female though. And that person is going to be offering you lots of support during the month of July. Um, advice and encouragement for group number one. I'm really seeing in the month of July that group number one, you're going to be having this, you know, abundance, this luxury, you know, whatever this future planning is that you're doing. Like I said earlier, you're going to be having this like huge change, this good luck, this good karma coming your way, financial success. And so um, advice for you in the month of July is just really be cautious and disciplined with your finances, okay? Um, your money and your possessions, you're going to be having really good luck with those things, but still be cautious and, and take care of those things. Really be good stewards of your money and your material possessions in the month of July. Watch out for your own financial interest and rely on your own instincts when it comes to your finances. You know, you need to use your own intuition and you don't always need to rely on the advice of others. Watch out in the month of July for um, bad advice about your money, okay? Use your own intuition and your own instincts about your money in the month of July. Watch out for, you know, someone who's advising you on your finances that might not be completely trustworthy. I feel like in the month of July, you know, you're going to come into a, a large sum of money possibly for some of you. Um, for some of you, it could be um, an inheritance. Some of you might be doing some gambling and winning, you know, some, some money that way. Um, some of you in group number one might also, you know, an investment that you made might be paying off. So you're going to be really self-sufficient. You're going to be, you know, living this um, abundant life, 
um, you're going to be having some luxury in the month of July. So really just watch out and use your own intuition. And that is really your piece of advice for the month of July. So let's go ahead for group number one and pull a few Oracle cards. So let's see. Group number one. What can group number one look out for for the month of July? Make sure that you're always writing down your manifestations. I know that um, the new moon just passed, and so um, maybe you wrote down some manifestations then that are going to be coming into fruition into the month of July. Keep writing down those manifestations, all right? Okay, let's go and pull a card from this deck. What can group number one expect for the month of July? Ooh. All right, so we have Lady Portia, Divine Order. Do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay, so this goes along with what we were talking about earlier with your future planning, you know, and trusting the divine and really not relying on your own understanding to understand what the divine has planned for you okay so just do what you feel is right trust your own intuition all right we talked about earlier about you know introspection and soul searching and so you know there's an important lesson there's a big change okay coming up for some of you in in the month of july in group number one so really do what you feel is right and trust your own intuition in, in, in all the decisions that you're making in the month of July. Okay, let's go ahead and pull one last card for group number one. What can group number one expect for the month of July? These cards are a little hard to shuffle. They're kind of big. They're kind of new too. So they're hard. They're kind of like still stuck together a little bit. So I'm going to do this a different way when spirit won't throw one out at me. I'm going to pull one like this. All right. All right. So the last card for group number one is be bold and make the first move cardinal moon. Okay. So like we were talking about earlier, I really think this coincides and goes along with that, um, energy and that passion and that enthusiasm and that inspiration and that attitude of action that we were talking about earlier really be bold and make the first move you have some amazing things coming up for you in the month of july group number one please comment down below what resonated with you if you like this video and you would like to see more like it please like subscribe and hit that post bell notification as always love and light and happy soul searching. All right, moving on to group number two with the blue candle. Group number two for the month of July, I am seeing that you are a very nurturing down to earth person. Um, you are possibly a Virgo or other earth sign, Capricorn or Taurus. You are really um, compassionate. You show concern for others. You are very loyal to your friends and family, very stable and dependable and helpful. You seem to be very generous and you help others in need. And I, I also see that you are sympathetic to the social and political, you know, issues that are going on right now in the world. You could possibly be um, a parent, a working parent. Some of you might be a working single parent. I'm seeing that you are very connected to Mother Earth and you're just a very nurturing person, okay? That's what I'm seeing for group number two um, for some of you. It does not necessarily have to be an earth sign, but I think that some of you are either a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Okay, so a theme of the month for group number two. I'm seeing that there are going to be some endings 
for some of you in group number two, okay? There might be some painful endings, possibly, you know, a time of crisis. There might be some deep wounds happening, okay? I see some of you in group number two for the month of July are maybe having this victim mentality, all right? And that is, you know, causing you to, you know, mentally be in this downward spiral. For some of you, plans that you have made or maybe projects that you're doing are, you know, could possibly not be going so well in the month of July. For some of you, it could be, you know, your home life may be disrupted. But remember, theme of the month, even in times of darkness, group number two, peace and calm can always be found. So even when you have, you know, betrayals or painful endings, um, peace and, and calm are always able to be found, all right? Don't give up hope, all right? Um, in the month of July, I see that a key goal for group number two is going to be planning a, a goal or a project that you have been um, dreaming about for a long time is going to be realized in the month of July. Okay, some, for some of you, it might be a new business that you have an idea for and you've been you know you've been dreaming about this for a long time and it's finally going to really start to make some progress all right for some of you um you may have obstacles um but you really need to make sure that whatever it is that your dreams are that you are planning what those obstacles are going to be before they happen and that you have a plan long before they even appear all right really start reaching out if you are planning on you know a new project or a new business really start reaching out and making contacts whether you know some of for some of you it's going to be business contacts start reaching out to those people socializing with those people your exceptional leadership skills are going to be needed during this time. You are going to be considered a visionary in this field, whatever it is for some of you, okay? Really commit to your plans in the month of July. For some of you, you might be having some opportunities overseas. For some of you, you might be traveling overseas for this business or for this project that you're going to be working on. I feel like for the month of July, you're going to be able to plan this out so particularly that you are going to be able to see um, everything that lies ahead, including challenges and including opportunities and excess successes. You're going to be able to see all of those things. You can look out and you can see it all, all right? So you're going to have a really good opportunity for progress and expansion in the month of July. Really commit to your plans. And, and really commit to the, the movement and the progression of this particular plan or project that you've been dreaming about for a long time, okay? Then, um, obstacles that you possibly need to overcome in the month of July. All right, so in the month of July, really watch out for any kind of clouded thinking or recklessness, okay? Making, um, decisions recklessly and just you know angrily or on the fly don't have any kind of overly emotional attitude or impulsive actions all right really watch out because those things if you are in the month of july are going to have some negative consequences be careful don't be also for some of you maybe we are having some kind of like a conceited or or shallow personality like tendencies or personality traits all right watch out for that don't be conceited don't be shallow in your personality um some of you in the in group number two may be you know having some kind of illicit relationships without actually having any commitment or having any feelings behind that so for the month of july i'm gonna you know really that's an obstacle that you're going to want to try to overcome okay that's not something that you want to be 
a part of. Watch out for, for some of you, you know, maybe there might be a, a, a deceitful or unfaithful person or partner. Um, for some of you, uh, it might be a woman who, who could appeal, you know, to a man because she's very attractive, just appeal to a man's, you know, um, sexual instincts. So be aware, okay, because this kind of a woman could possibly lead to, you know, that man's destruction in the month of July, all right? So really watch out for those things in the month of July. Major accomplishments in the month of July for group number two. Um, for group number two, I feel like you're going to be having um, a very Pisces kind of energy, all right? A creative, um, very creative, very intuitive, um, kind of opportunity all right you might for some of you you might be working in a creative field um, maybe you know this progress this expansion that you're going to be making that could have to do with you know your major accomplishments in the month of july in the month of july i also feel like some of you are really going to take on like i said this pisces kind of you know, personality or attitude, very passionate about life, very, you know, outgoing and charismatic. I think that in the month of July, some creative aspirations are really going to pop up out of the blue for you. So in the month of July, you know, some of the accomplishments that you might have could have to do with these creative aspirations. So really be open to, you know, things like that just popping up for you. All right, what to avoid in the month of July. For some of you, I see in the month of July, group number two, that we might be overly selfish and manipulative um, in the pursuit of money. So really watch out for that. Make sure that you, you are not being selfish or manipulative. Make sure that you're being honest and you're always up front that is going to always bring you good karma you know doing good brings good to you don't attempt to control or deceive others and make sure like it like i said before these creative opportunities are going to pop out of the blue so make sure that you are able you know or that you're open to recognizing those opportunities when they pop up be level-headed be clear thinking in the month of july and really be watching out for these creative opportunities that are gonna come to you in the month of july for some of you in the month of july or you might have a tendency to you know not make decisions and you know just having anxiety about decisions and being distracted so in the month of july make sure that you know you are not indecisive and that don't let you know distraction and anxiety really get in your way of doing what you need to do in the month of july what we need to embrace in the month of july just like i was saying before don't let indecision um, keep you from um, the progress that you're going to make these um, this progress and this expansion that you're going to make um, once again peace of mind comes from making the decision okay so do not settle on those decisions also um, like before as well this confirms put aside any kind of you know selfish interest don't be selfish all right sometimes it is absolutely necessary to embrace sacrifice in order to achieve success so sometimes you have to sacrifice instead of trying to control everything or trying instead of trying to control everything or trying to control people really embrace just leaving things alone let it happen let it flow we cannot always control bad luck we cannot always control good luck okay 
that stuff is is ordained by the divine we cannot control those things so really embrace going with the flow when things are confusing when there are contradictions put aside your selfish interests um, make the sacrifice in order to achieve, to achieve success and just remember that the divine that God and the divine have a plan and we are not always in control of that and really just letting go, going with the flow, all right? Where to find support in the month of July? Um, I'm seeing that for some of you in the month of July, you are going to be finding support in someone that is a Leo or maybe another fire sign that could possibly be an Aries or a Sagittarius. This person is a feminine energy, possibly a female, doesn't necessarily have to be a female. This woman or feminine energy is a very popular, beautiful, outgoing woman, um, dresses very well, very physically in shape, very healthy, smart, competent, and this person is very practical with money, they're very creative, and they're very much a planner. They plan things out very carefully, okay? This person is just like the all-around good package. This very self-confident Leo energy, um, cheerful, easygoing, and they're really going to be the person that is going to be protective of you and supportive of you in the month of July, okay? This person is going to be a social butterfly, um, very determined. So whoever this Leo energy, this Leo feminine energy is, they are going to the they are going to be the person that really is protective and supportive of you in the month of July. So seek out the support of this Leo energy um, in the month of July. Advice and encouragement for the month of July. The advice and encouragement. Um, I feel like for you is take action to get the results that you want, okay? We have that, um, this progress and this expansion, okay? You're going to need to take action on that. You're going to need to take the creative opportunities, okay? Make sure that, you know, uh, it's coming up again, this innovative creative opportunity for some of you is going to be happening in the month of July and so really there is going to be you know possibly some of you are like I was saying opening your own business an entrepreneur of some kind so really take vision in that really bring out your um Aries energy, that natural born leader, that fire sign, okay? Um, move forward. You're going to have a moving drive and just really have a commanding presence and, and, and strong convictions about what you're going to be doing in the month of July, okay? Whether it be a business idea, whether it be a traveling, you know, traveling for business, traveling overseas, really make sure that you are uh, ongoing and you're moving forward and you just have a really strong forward drive about you in the month of July, group number two, okay? Now that is all for the tarot. Let's go ahead and pull some Oracle cards for group number two for the month of July. What can we expect for group number two in the month of July? Create your reality. All right, so we have been talking about this whole time about this creativity, this creative aspiration that is gonna pop up, okay? For some of you in group two in the month of July, you are going to be using your own creativity to um, have some kind of opportunity. This um, creative opportunity is just going to pop up for some of you. So I feel like create your own reality. Not only does that have to do with, for some of you, that has to do with manifesting. All right. So 
manifesting your own reality, creating your own reality. And then for some of you, that actually has to do with creating heart awakening, awakening to acceptance and divine love, give and receive in balance. Okay, so we talked about earlier about sometimes sacrificing in order to have success. So this heart awakening, okay, awaken to acceptance and divine love. Sometimes you have to give in order to receive. So give and receive in balance for group number two. Okay, let's pull one more card for group number two. We'll pull from the Moonology deck. All right, so we have new moon in Aquarius. Bring love into any situation. Okay, new moon in Aquarius. So I think that this goes back to um, awaken to acceptance and divine love. Give and receive in balance. Okay, so anytime you have any situation in the month of July, you need to make sure that you are the one to be that caring, nurturing, loving voice and bring love into any situation. That is good advice for any time, but especially for the month of July for group number two. That is all that I have for group number two. Please comment down below what resonated for you. If you liked this reading and you would like to see more like it, please like subscribe and hit that post bell notification down below as always love and light and happy soul searching all right moving right on to group number three with the red candle all right group number three for the month of july i am seeing that you are possibly a Libra or an another air sign, maybe a Gemini or Aquarius. I am sensing a feminine energy. Does not necessarily have to be female, but could be. You are very wise from life's experiences. You can find humor in any situation, no matter how bad. You have a very good sense of humor. You may have been through a lot in your life. I'm seeing that for group number three, a lot of you have had a lot of conflict or sorrow or pain in your life, but you are an extremely logical person, very intelligent. Um, you have a very analytical mind and you have a great deal of common sense, okay? Um, you are, you have very natural leadership abilities and you're the kind of person that is going to always be honest and direct, all right? You're not going to hide how you really feel about things. You're going to say it exactly how you see it, all right? You are very direct in your communication, and I feel like you really tell the truth um, in all matters. I don't see that being like a negative like kind of energy, though, like being rude or hateful in telling the truth. I think that you really kind of have a softer side, but you do still tell the truth in all matters. So you are also a very independent person, all right? In judgment, you're very unbiased. Um, that is who I am sensing for group number three, okay? All right, so for group number three, I'm feeling like the theme of the month is really anything is possible, all right? I'm seeing just uh, a lot of growth that's possibly going to happen in the month of July. There might be challenges that arise, but those are all overcomable, all right? Your uh, spirit is going to be really offering new ideas and new opportunities for you, group number three, in the month of July. Um, so much potential in the month of July for group number three. This is a really good time if you're planning on starting a business or starting a new project. The month of July for group number three, it's a good time to do that. Um, you, um, your intellect is really at a high point. 
in the month of July, your creativity is also at a high point in the month of July. For some of you, you're going to have a very high energy and a lot of enthusiasm. Also, some of you might be looking to start a family in the month of July, and this is really fertility -ish assured for those of you that are looking to start a family in the month of July. If you're not looking to start a family in the month of July, um, take those precautions um, for the month of July because this is a good time for some of you in the month of July to start a family, okay? Um, all right, moving on. The key goal for you, group number three, in the month of July. Um, I, th I see a real theme in the month of July for group number three that you're going to be entering this real period of peace and contentment. Um, you're going to really be having uh, a supportive family. You're going to be having good times with friends and family. Um, you're your relationship that you're in, if you're in a relationship, uh, a, a romantic relationship, um, it's really going to be a good time for this romantic relationship. Um, some of you in the month of July may be making some commitments romantically, okay? So, um, also I see for some of you there may be some kind of forgiveness and recon reconciliation happening in the month of July. Either you're going to be forgiving and reconciling with someone or vice versa, okay? For some of you, you may be purchasing a home in the month of July. And um, I feel like materialistically, you know, you're just going to be really abundant and you just have everything that you need. It's a really good time for um, relationships and um, and divine love also. This is kind of like the end of difficult times. Um, you know, it's kind of like the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, all right? Um, the rainbow is really a sign from the divine that, you know, everything's going to be okay. And so I'm just seeing a really divine love and, and peace and harmony and true emotional fulfillment, stability and comfort. It's just going to be really good times in the month of July, all right, for group number three. All right, so obstacles to overcome in the month of July. Really, group number three, watch out for in the month of July. Um, you're going to be having a lot of success in the month of July, but really make sure that you're not doing it through any kind of underhanded means, okay? Don't, when you're dealing with other people, make sure that you are doing everything the right way. Make sure you're being honest and make sure you're being compassionate and caring when it comes to dealing with other people. Um, don't use others or exploit others, you know, for your own um, success, okay? Don't use any kind of bullying tactics to win your way with things, okay, for your success. Um, don't be so obsessed with money and power that you disregard others' feelings and needs, okay? You have a strong desire to change your life for the better, and that's okay, and that's amazing. You have this really, you know... Um, fire within you to change your life for the better and that is amazing but make sure that in the month of july you are doing that honestly you're coming by it honestly all right treat others with respect don't bully other people you know you are this really yeah, strong independent person like we talked about before and so you need to really make sure that you keep concern for others' feelings and needs and that you're treating everyone with respect and, and, and not being ruthless with other people, okay? Watch out for that in the month of July. Now, major accomplishments for group three in the month of July. Um, like we were talking about earlier, and this card really just hammers that idea in. Um, you are going to really have in the month of July, things are just really going to be falling into place, okay? Dreams are going to be realized and 
you are possibly going to be coming into a position of leadership. Um, I'm kind of seeing like a, a father with a child, but not necessarily um, familial, maybe more like a boss with people under you. You're going to have these leadership qualities that are going to be coming out for you in the month of July. You're going to be in a position of responsibility and you're going to be in the position to protect and defend those in a weaker position. Like I was saying before, make sure you're not using any kind of intimidation tactics. You know, you're going to be in a, in a position of authority. Okay. You're going to be an authority figure. You're going to be um, the person that is supposed to be the wise person in the situation. Okay. So you need to make sure that you're being fair and that you are protecting the people that are in a lower position than you. Maybe you're going to have, you know, some, you're, Maybe you're going to have some apprentices below you. Maybe you're going to be the boss. And when you are, you need to make sure in order to be a good boss, you have to look out for those people that are under you. So in the month of July, that is going to be a major accomplishment for you. You might be becoming the boss, okay? Um, for some of you, I am seeing that... Um, a major accomplishment in the month of July. You may be finding out that you're going to be a father. I'm also, or, or it could be a mother as well. I'm also seeing that in the month of July, some of you might be rekindling a relationship with your father. Maybe you've been out of touch with your father. Your father may be contacting you or vice versa, okay? So really be open to mending any kind of relationships between uh, you and your father at this point. All right. Now moving on what to avoid in the month of July. Okay. So you really want to avoid having a closed mind. Um, there are some thought processes that are very traditional, very stifling, very stuffy, okay? And you need to make sure in the month of July that you are not letting those ideas make you be um, judgmental of other people or, you know, not caring about other people. Be open to those unconventional ideas. Also, um, just because you and another person don't necessarily share the same beliefs or the same ideas does not mean that you cannot get along, does not mean that you can't agree to disagree, all right? So in the month of July, really be opening to accepting other ideas and other people for who they are, even though it might not line up with exactly who you are. That's okay. In the month of July, for some of you, you really need to avoid kind of, you know, maybe being a little paranoid or imagining problems, okay? For some of you, that might be a problem in the month of July. Really stick to reality and make sure you're not just coming up with things in your head and being paranoid. Sometimes we do that to ourselves in, in different situations. If you are in a relationship, a romantic relationship for some of you, be be very aware that it, you know cheating or any kind of deception can really cause the end of a relationship make sure that you're being faithful and honest and you're not you know having any kind of, of deception occurring in in your romantic relationship in the month of July for some of you um, you need to watch out in the month of July for friends that could possibly be, you know, talking behind your back or gossiping or saying things about you that aren't true. So really watch out for any um, friends in the month of July. Watch out for people, for some of you in the month of July in group number three. Watch out for um, bad advice. Somebody could possibly be giving you some bad advice that might serve their needs rather than yours. So really trust your own tuition on those kinds of things. All right. And then for the month of July, what to embrace. In the month of July, don't give in. We were talking earlier about 
you know, cheating or deception or, you know, these different kind of desires that could possibly be alluring, you know, sometimes those bad things, they have a certain, you know, alluring draw to them, a certain excitement, a certain thrill. But in the month of July, don't give in to those raw desires. You know, it might be easy as the boss of a business to take advantage of those weaker people or to, you know, kind of bully them into something. So in the month of July, really embrace the idea of avoiding those carnal raw desires all right really make sure that you're avoiding those in the month of july group number three i feel like you'll be finding support in some uh possibly a group of people group number three possibly someone that is a fire sign a leo aries or sagittarius i think that for some of you like i said you might be finding you might be finding support in a group of people, you know, maybe a group of friends. It could be a, a group of people like a, from work, all right? Um, this, this group is going to offer a, a lot of diversity, all right? There might even be some competition um, in this group of people, but I think that that group is really going to offer you support in the way that it is a challenge and what I mean by that is sometimes when you have competition that causes you to be better that causes you to kind of be on your a game and so I think in the month of July for some of you you know you're going to be coming uh, into this um, boss situation where you have people under you and I think that you're gonna find support excuse me, you're going to find support in this group of people where there might be a lot of diversity, there might be some tension, there might be some conflict, but it's going to be about things that aren't, um, that are kind of trivial. It's going to be more competition. It's going to be more of like a, a push for power. You're all going to be going for the same thing and, you know, kind of looking at each other's work, comparing ideas and things like that. And th that group of people is really going to provide you support to become better, to become a better person, all right? To become a better um, business person, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is that your job is, this group of people that you work with on, on a daily basis, you know, that's going to be your support system in a kind of an odd way. They're going to be pushing you to be better by being your competition. All right. And then advice and encouragement for group three for the month of July. This is going to be a really good month for everyone in group three. For some of you, you are going to be taking responsibility for your own actions, okay? You are going to, we talked about earlier about being a boss, and you're really going to be realizing that every action that you have will have an effect on those people that you work with, okay? You're going to be really decisive. You're going to be moving forward in your career for some of you. Um, for some of you, you might have some um, contracts or agreements, maybe maybe legal disputes that are going to be resolved in your favor. So really make sure that if you are going through a situation like that, you are always being honest, um, never being underhanded, all right? Also, if you have been wronged in the month of July, um, a bit of encouragement for group number three is justice is going to be assured. So a lot of things are going to be working themselves out for group number three. It looks like the month of July is really going to be a successful month for you. So let's go ahead and pull a few more cards for you, group number three. All right, so for group number three, we have the success card. So like I've been saying for this whole reading, for the majority of you, for all of you in group number three, we are going to be having this success, okay? Whether it be business success, um, 
whether it be love success, whether it is, you know, just a peace and contentment, you are just going to have a successful month in the month of July, all right? You're going to have material possessions. Um, you're going to just have this true emotional fulfillment, stability, and comfort. So this success card really just goes along with everything that we already talked about. You're going to be experiencing a, a large amount of success in many different ways. For some of you, you know, we talked about the different ways that it might be for different people in group number three. Okay, let's go ahead and pull a few more cards for group number three. All right, so group number three, you got Mother Mary, love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time, okay? So we talked about, you know, possibly um, making amends with a father figure. Um, this could also apply to a mother, all right? And I'm also um, seeing with this card, talking again about, you know, being the boss, um, letting go of the need to be right, and really just choosing peace. Um, that goes along, you know, with everything that we talked about for you in the month of July. Okay, so for group number three, you and your loved ones are safe. So this goes back to what we were talking about earlier, just these blissful relationships, this um, true emotional fulfillment in the month of July, the end of difficult times, stability and comfort. So just really in the month of July, you and your loved ones are gonna be super safe and stable and comfortable. And so that is all I have for group number three. Please comment down below what resonated for you. If you enjoyed this reading and you would like to see more like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that post bell notification down below. And as always, love and light and happy soul searching.